Hello, I'm Ken from KBD Productions TV and welcome to another KBD Productions TV product review just for you. These chips, or crisps as they say over in Ireland, were sent to me by Niall who lives in Kilkenny, Ireland and he was saying that Tato, cheese and onion are the most famous chips in all of Ireland. And these other chips are also his family favorites, but these are the number one. So let's get right into this one right away. So there's an actual park named after this place or made because of these chips are so famous. And uh, this the, the air in this one seems to be leaking out. So I'm hoping that they're, they're not stale. They may have got damaged in transit, but they are cheese and onion flavored potato chips the original iris, Irish crisps. Let's open it up, man. I can't, they've been sitting on my desk for a couple weeks. Been trying to find time to do it. Today's the day. Hmm, check it out. Nice. Wow. Hmm. Show the logo. These ones taste like you know those, um, I don't know what you call them, the, the onion rings that you can buy? Tastes exactly the same as those, but in chip crunchiness. As opposed to those round cheesy kind of, I don't know, treats. I don't even know what you call them, they're not chips. Hmm, these are good, man. Very oniony. Like the onion comes through more than the uh, cheese, but they're amazing. No wonder they're your favorite. Let's move on to Hunky Dory's Buffalo flavored. I got some water. When I eat chips, I usually have Coke, but I don't have any today. So I have to use water. Wow. Holy smokes, that is crazy. Check it out. The, the flavor or the smell is quite powerful. It definitely smells like a barbecue. Not all these on barbecue, they're buffalo flavored. Check it out, they're ribbed, rippled potato chips. Wow. These are good. Really salty. Definitely have that buffalo, buffalo wings, buffalo sauce type flavor to them. Like cayenne, butter. Not bad, but really salty. Not as salty, really salty. Like, I wonder if they'd even tell you what that. Like, 2.5 grams of sodium per whatever. I don't know how many chips. And this one is 1.5. Before we get into this one, maybe it'll tell us here. 2.3. <laughs> so, salty. Really salty, not as salty. In the middle, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, these ones are O'Donnell's. I think I said that right. O'Donnell's of Tipperary. Hand-cooked chips. Irish cider vinegar and salt. Salt flavor. Check out. Look good? I love kettle cooked chips. These are hand cooked chips. So I guess there's a pretty big difference. Kettle cooked are my favorite. Wow, very vinegary. Mm. I like salt and vinegar once in a while. I love the crunchiness of these chips. 
I wonder if Tato does a, a kettle cooked chip as well. Does that flavor on a kettle cooked type chip shine that through the roof? How many of you guys out there eat straight up regular potato chips or regular potato crisps? That's what these taste like. But then somebody poured vinegar on them. But they have that more regular flair to them, if you can understand what I'm saying. They're good. Hmm. It's a toss up. That's definitely the best one. You're correct. Niall, you and your uncle are correct. These are the best out of the three. Those are way too salty. You definitely need to drink a lot of whatever you're drinking, pop, beer, water, to eat those. Way more subtle with the, the sodium saltiness, but heavy on the onion. Mm. This is just way too salty, man. Good. Probably wouldn't buy them again. Definitely buy those again. So we have a winner. Potato, cheese, and onion. You can't wait for the day. I zip over to Ireland. Maybe go to Kilkenny, Dublin. And try even more products that you guys buy over the counter in your in your grocery stores and your convenience stores that would be great so Niall thank you very much for sending me these three amazing treats all the way from Ireland that was fantastic of you I really appreciate it uh, if you guys want to send me something please email me first before you send it like just like Niall did that would be fantastic and uh, hopefully we can start uh, teaching people of other products that are uh, made from uh, different places around the world all right so, all right, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you don't want to miss the next one, please hit that subscribe button and click that little notification bell so you don't miss the next one. But if you want to show your support for this particular video, give it a thumbs up, ding, 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 and we'll see you next time on another Kendomic product review brought to you by Neil from Ireland. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm.